Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to boost your FPS and also reduce your input delay in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. So, before we do any changes to your system, we have to make sure we created a restore point. So the way to create the restore point is for uh, clicking on your start key type in restore and if you just type R E S T and it will show up curate a restore point click on open and then choose your C drive click on configure and it should say turn disable system protection turn system protection on and move the slider to 5% um, and then click on apply and OK then click on uh, click on the C drive and click on curate and name it whatever you want. I already have two, so I don't need to do uh, uh, to curate a restore point, but you might ha need to curate it. Okay, so if any changes happen and you're not happy with your FPS, you can revert back. And yeah, okay, hit on OK, and yeah, let's get started. So first, you have to click on the link in the description which will take you to my discord server and um, when you join my discord server go to the section here called downloads go to downloads link and you'll find here the FPS boost pack click on it and do the steps and then download the boost pack then download the boost pack now what you need to do is download WinRAR to extract this pack so I'm gonna put a download link for WinRAR in the description. So right click on it and then click on extract files. Click on OK. And then it's gonna extract in a file. Take this file and open it. Okay, now when the file is opened, go to the Fortnite Chapter 4 FPS pack and then click on config. Um, when you're here I recommend you guys clicking on recommended if you really want to boost your FPS way like like you don't really care about the visuals you can go ahead with the low-end PC it will really boost your FPS but you might be um, you might lose a lot of quality but recommended <laughs> it's also the best it will show it will give you the greatest uh, the great FPS with also good visuals um, click on it and choose uh, for me DirectX 12 works best and it will also work for you as well um, if you have any problems with DirectX 12 um, what you need to do is hold your start key and click on R and then type this command um, I, um, the percent local app data percent then click on open go to your Fortnite game and then go to save in here in config click on config windows client right click on your game user settings click on properties and uncheck this box if it's already unchecked then uh, click on ok right click and then click on edit now what you want to do is go all the way to the end and if you have this on true put that on false Put that on false. Wait, did I spell the false wrong? Yes, put that on false and then X and then save the changes. Me, I don't have any problems with DirectX 12. So, yeah, click on DirectX 12. And you see those game files. Now, what you want to do is do the same steps local app data and then, um, what the heck? And then click on OK. Go to Fortnite game, click on saved, config, Windows client, and uh, you need to, from the boost pack, you need to take this, hit alt and tab, and go to your Windows client, and then paste it here, click on replace the, the, the files in the, in the destination, for me I'm not going to do it because I already have them, but for you, you click on replace, and it's gonna replace your um, files now 
I'll close out of the window that we just opened, the local app data, and go back, back, and when you're back in the uh, first page, you need to go to options, and uh, click on Fortnite to processes. Now double click on that and choose on higher priority. Right, cl uh, double click on that, click on yes, and then click on yes, click on OK, and that will make your game run on the highest prior priority your PC can run. Go back, go to GPU settings, and this depends on what GPU you have. For me, it's Nvidia, so I copy these settings. If you're AMD, then copy those settings. Um, then go back and go and you see this folder uh, carry it and then go to your put it on your desktop I already have it on my desktop over here now what you need to do is double click on it double click on standby list cleaner and uh, it's already running for me but look at the uh, this show hidden icons it will be over here somewhere double click on it and what I want you guys to do is just copy my settings. And this depends on your PC. If you have a low end, put it on 10,000. If you have a medium end, then put it on 1,000. If you have a high end PC, put it on 500. And the rest, just copy my settings. And then click on start. And purge standby list cleaner. It should be on zero, but if you're running the apps in the background, it should go up to four or five. And you need to minimize this and keep it running in the background while you're playing your games. And go back to the folder and go to command. Now this, it depends if you don't have the power option, the high performance power option. Um, so uh, um, if you have that power option, then create, click on create a power plan, and then you should see it here. If you don't see it here, then it should show like um, a thing down here that you click on. For me, I don't have it, I have it here. If you also don't have it in here or in there, then copy this command. And after you copy this command, uh, click on start and type CMD run as administrator and then click on yes after you click on yes it will show this then just paste the thing that we just copied so copy and paste then click on enter and it will create the unlimited performance so click on uh, no then yeah refresh and it should be like over here put it on unlimited performance it shows you the like it provides your PC with the highest uh, settings to run games now close out of that close out of the CMD and go to the launch options now the uh, this one it depends on how much logical processors you have um, to find out what how much logical processors you have you just need to right click on your taskbar click on task manager and then go to performance and it will show up here um, after it shows up here it depends on the number so mine is 12 so I'm gonna change this with 12 copy it all the way from the end to the um, from here all the way and then copy that open your epic games um, wait for it to load and then go to settings scroll all the way to the end until you see fortnite um then here uh you need to check uh, tick this box over here additional command co command lines arguments Turn, check that if you have any command lines arguments here click on control a and then delete them and paste your new command line and then hit enter um put that back and go and close out of epic now this step you need to open Fortnite. So let's open Fortnite real quick. 
Okay, so now we are on Fortnite and you're probably running on a windowed full screen. Maybe you're even uh, on a full screen or a windowed full screen. So what you want to do is go to your full screen and put it on 1920 by 1080 or whatever your max uh, resolution is. Hit apply and hit yes. Scroll all the way to this graphic quality setting. Put your 3D quality on 80 if you have a high-end PC on 50 if you have a low end and on 30 if you have uh, a really low end and 50 if you have a medium end it will be on the screen right now copy whatever you want for me i just put it on 100 my pc can handle it but if i want to boost fps i just put it on 80 percent turn everything off put everything on off um when it comes to textures put the textures on medium if you have um if you have a uh, uh, good um if you have like four or more logical processors for me i have 12 logical processors so i can do that um so put that on uh, texture and put multi-threaded rendering on that's if you have four or more logical processors um, DirectX 12 for better FPS, turn off VSync, turn off motion blur, um, turn off uh, use CPU, crash debugging, uh, latency marker if you have this, put it on off, if you have NVIDIA Reflex, low latency, so this actually um, lowers your input delay, uh, the same with what we did with the standby list cleaner, standby list cleaner also does the same thing both of them just boost uh just reduce your input delay like it like really good turn on latency flash this it depends on your graphic card mine is an rtx 260 so mine can handle it um i'm gonna put the list of high end and low end graphic cards for me my pc can handle that it depends if you really want it to be on then put it on won't really make a difference but a couple of frame drops will happen while you're playing a game dlss that's so bad i tried all of them and all of them are bad so just keep it on off this only comes up when you have an rtx gpu hit apply go to the settings over here I mean, go to the audio settings and put your sound quality from high to low. Turn off 3D headphones, turn off background audio, and turn off visual sound effects. If you would want that on, then just keep it on. Um, copy these settings. You can put them on 5, put each one on 5. But those ones are not really important. Just copy mine. Uh, to put your... Um, microphone or whatever and hit apply and then escape and yeah that's how you boost your fps i uh, hope you guys enjoyed and before d i end the video i forgot to mention this part if you have a 60 hertz monitor you can put your um, frame rate limit on 120 or unlimited if you have a 144 put it on 165 or 160 a 240 then just put it on 360 or unlimited but i recommend 360 and if you have a 360 hertz monitor which is really rare then put it on 360 hertz or 360 fps for me my monitor is a 144 hertz so i put it on 165 and hit apply i'm back and also try wearing uh, like skins that don't have a lot of reactions for example this skin has some a lot of reactions so what good skins i recommend are this um um this scarlet commander the assault trooper the red ja jade jade and scarlet defender there's a lot but the ones i recommend are those um season one skins like the assault trooper and the renegade <laughs> this one is also a good skin and yeah I'll try to wear skins that are not reactive i'm just gonna keep this on i'm gonna keep the star one and try to use try to use like 
some um some good uh gliders that don't have a lot of reactions for me i just use this banner one because it's better and it doesn't use a lot of graphics for your wraps you just need to put a uh, unreactive one or a one that doesn't actually um make you lose any fps so just choose the ones that are doesn't have uh movements in them for me i recommend this one from last season's battle pass apply all and you will have this one have no um you you need to have no uh contrail turn that off or just put it on default which is nothing and yeah that's how you boost your fps let's see how much fps are we getting now if you put it on unlimited almost 500 fps and that's really good so hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you never miss my uploads uh join my discord server i have i'm trying to improve the discord for now there is no general chat or anything but in future updates on my discord i'm gonna make some channels for you guys to talk in and also communicate with other people and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next one peace out